Here's a uh, Cocothrinax granita. And the common name with that is Old Man Palm because of all that quote unquote hair that's inside of the palm there. And this is a juvenile, it's probably just less than 10 years old, so it's just starting out on its journey, but uh, still looks good. Some of these things have a tough time getting through their their juvenile stage into adulthood. Once they're in adulthood around here, they, they seem to do well. I've, I've seen one or two in this county, in Indian River County and, and the Treasure Coast that have gotten uh, probably about eight to 10 feet of trunk on them. And, have actually shed most of their hair, and I've seen some of them grow further north of here, up in Brevard County, in the warmer spots. Uh, so it'll do well here. It just, I just see uh, sometimes a high mortality, or not high, but moderate mortality rate in the younger plants. So again, this one deserves some credit for looking as good as it does, especially considering how cold it's been the last few years in the winter time. So uh, contradictory, but it's a juvenile old men palm, and. Uh, looking well. It doesn't even really have much of a trunk on it. Let's see if I can get in close and get that fur. That's what's really appealing about this palm is when it's a little older and you can see mostly uh, two or three feet of trunk. It's all covered in that hair. Uh, and that's kind of fun, uh, I guess. So anyway, Cocothrinax crinita, the old men palm.